tribute to watches and wonders Geneva, to IWC and the launch of Portuguese, a tribute to eternity. Now, watches and wonders here is quite a unique event. It's where the entire world of watchmaking just comes together for one week in Geneva. And if I can just ask the camera, just have a little pan around, just give our audience a little bit of an insight into what is going on here. Absolutely busy, packed first day of watches and wonders. Geneva. My name is Chris Granger. I'm the CEO of YWC Watches. Now, whatever platform you're watching this on, just put your questions and comments down in the comment section, and we'll do our best here live to answer as many of your questions as possible. So, at first, to give you a taster of what you're about to discover with me on this little tour around the IWC Pavilion here, here's a little video of what's to come.
the Portuguese eternal calendar, it shouldn't contribute to eternity. It's actually a real leap and milestone in our engineering development. This is our first ever secular calendar from IWC. It displays every leap year correctly all the way to the end of the Gregorian calendar because a regular calendar skips a leap year, needs to skip a leap year in 2100, 200, and 300, but then keep the leap year in in 2400. And when normal perpetual calendars need a manual adjustment and update, the eternal calendar has a 400-year program wheel that does that automatically. And at the same time, we've re re reworked our moon phase display. Our original moon phase displayed 577 years of moon phase for the northern and southern hemisphere correctly. Now, this new moon phase is achieving an all-new gearing where we're trying to get to an actual nation of 29 days, 12 hours, 44 minutes, and 2.88 seconds, as precisely as possible. And this has been made possible by querying a supercomputer to go through trillions of combinations to give us the perfect gearing and actually producing an accuracy of 45 million years. Now, if you check the Guinness Book of Records, you'll see the previous record was at 2 million. We've just upped that to 45 million. That's what happens when tasks some engineers in Schaffhausen, and they just take things a little bit too far. But anyway, this really is the part of the core of our collection, but there's more to discover. Chris, um, a sort of big question about watches. Standing before tables like this, there's genuine excitement. Could you help our viewers on our live stream understand what we're going to hear on the discussion yesterday? Yeah, absolutely. Now, here, the entire Portuguese collection is presented in what we call the observatory. But to explain how we approach the IWC Portuguese communication, how we express this universe, there's nobody better to explain that to us than our chief marketing officer, Francisco Xavier Francisca. It's good to see you. Now, so tell us, how do you deal with even starting to speak about something like Portuguese? You're a master of storytelling. So give us a story of the Portuguese. It's your elevator pitch. Thank you very much, Chris. So Portuguese is truly a sign of what's making a big profile of the Seychelles Plaza. The collection dates back actually 85 years, so it's the 85th anniversary. It's an anniversary. It's a competition. You're marketing this. You see, that's why I tell you. So the story started actually with two merchants from Portugal who requested IWC to engineer um, a wristwatch with marine chronometer precision. So that was the birth of the legendary 325 reference of Portuguese. Sure. And actually it's Portuguese because the, the merchants from the merchants from Portugal. Portugal. Yes. So what we have in the end is then a nautical instrument termed modern day wristwatch. Exactly. And, and I mean it's not a classical classical watch. It remains a watch with a modern edge. So when you start to communicate about a product like that, where do you start? The thing is, as you say, the Portuguese is was modern and fresh when it was born in the late 1930s and it is still today because the instrumental watch gives it this open line and the cleanness and crispness and when we talk about it we honor and respect it and what we brought to life in this collection as well is beautiful new colors. Yes, I was going to ask you, we're standing here in front of a stunning display. Tell us a little bit about the colors we see. It's actually the eternal cycle of day and night. And we start with the silver moon, which is actually um, the late night or the early morning. And here we have in front of us horizon blue, which is the crispness of the full sunlight at midday. Yeah. And it's the first one I chose. I mean, this absolutely oh, wow, it's pops, huh? beautiful. And it comes in different references with white gold, beautiful. And yeah. if we further do the journey into the day... I love that gradient you've got going on this display. It's beautiful. We have the dune color, which is actually the late, hot afternoon, and then we go in the mystery of the night, what I am wearing today, nice. the obsidian color. And they come all in a beautiful, beautiful dial finishing with 60 parts actually go into the dial, and then 15 layers of lacquer, and it's polished to such a nice extent. It's just astonishing. Brilliant. 
watching from all over the world. What can they expect this year? How you're taking this perpetual studio? How you're taking it to the countries? Where can people find out everything about IWC? It's a spectacle of assets across the different channels. We will have more than 350 different content pieces really honoring our fine watchmaking, but then as well telling the story of the colors, this eternal day and night cycle we just described and then as well, as well the contemporary lifestyle of IWC and Portuguese will be in this beautiful campaign yeah, as of you. May. Well, you have to wait. Well, we're looking forward to it, Francesca. <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> for your time. You so now, this is also a good moment for a shameless plug because there is absolutely no better place on earth to find out all about IWC than coming to Schaffhausen, a little place in eastern Switzerland, and visiting our manufacturing center. If you head over on IWC.com, you find the tour section. You can actually book yourself a fan tour or you connect to your local IWC boutique and book it that way. We'd love to host you and welcome you in Schaffhausen. And when you go there, I mean, the centerpiece is really our fine watchmaking. It's where craftsmanship meets technology, and this is our perpetual studio. Walk with me. Let's have a look, really. There's our watchmaker, Thomas. Let's have a quick look at watchmaking at IWC and specifically the development of the perpetual calendars. Now, if we have a look over here, the very first perpetual calendar movement from IWC was developed by our master watchmaker, Kurt Klaus, in 1985. And it really was unique because it had a very simple way of using a program wheel to tell the watch movement when to insert a leap year and when we have a regular year. So our perpetual calendars don't have any adjustment pushes. It is all controlled via a single crown that actually helps you to adjust the entire mechanism, which is fully synchronized. Now, in this early edition, which came in the Da Vinci Chronograph perpetual calendar back in 1985, you had a moon phase which had limited gearing, which was accurate for 122 years back in 1985. And then in 2003, for the very first time, we brought the perpetual calendar movement into our bigger Portuguese wristwatch. And in Portuguese, we could change the gearing because it's a bigger movement, bigger power reserve, and actually achieve a moon phase accuracy of 577 years. Now, fast forward, if we're going to these models here, you can see the absolute heart of what the eternal calendar does. In the eternal calendar, we're keeping that simple idea of the program wheel, but we're actually putting in a gearing that changes from a four-year program wheel via two wheels only to a 400-year wheel. Now, a 400-year program wheel tells the calendar that we're skipping the regular leap year in the century years 2100, 200, and 300, but keeping it in 2400. So for the mathematics fans among you, every year divisible by 400 keeps the leap year. And this goes all the way to the end of what we know as the Gregorian calendar, our calendar, in the year 4000. Now imagine a 400 year wheel. That means we are turning less than one degree a year. And in your entire lifetime, hopefully not, but likely yes, it's going to rotate less than a quarter. So it's quite an amazing gearing if you think one, two, three program wheels to get from a single year to 400 years that is beautifully visible in the front of the watch as well. Second feat of engineering is really happening in that moon phase. And if we have a look at the model here, you can see that we have only three additional wheels. Three wheels, 100 teeth max per wheel, that a supercomputer told us what is the perfect gearing, gave us a list of options, and then our watchmakers here, how are you doing, by the way? Good, thank you. Is all right? Yeah. Our watchmakers chose the perfect gearing ratio that worked for the eternal calendar and made sure that we can provide a moon phase accuracy of a staggering, mind-blowing 45 million years. So are you going to be, I mean, you're young enough, are you going to be servicing these watches in 45 million years? Probably not. Uh, probably not anymore. How do we deal with that? Uh, well, <laughs> we, will, we will give them on and uh, we'll see what's happening then. But, uh, like, Absolutely. We'll see, like, hopefully humankind will exist. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully, yes. That's the, you know, the, the dry Schaffhausen humor that we get from watchmaking in Schaffhausen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is the hero of the collection. But let's discover more. We've got some very special guests today to talk you through all of the individual references. But before we do that, and I take you over there, here's a presentation video that gives you a full overview of the old new IWC Portuguese collection.
Let's take a closer look at all of these products in some detail with two people who can present them better than none. Have a look, come with me. So we have a couple of guests and we have a surprise guest. Can I introduce you to Debbie? She's known on Instagram as IWC Girls. Do you do TikTok as well? I don't even know. No, on no TikTok, on only Instagram. Instagram. We yes. exist a generation, you know, we do Insta. That's all good. So IWC Girl with us today to explain all of the references to you together with Christian, our creative director, Christian Knopf. They are the perfect pair to talk you through all of the individual Portu Portuguese timepieces. Guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a break now. I'm going to grab a coffee and I'll see you all after. Right? Thank you very much. Over to you guys. Thank you. Good. So let's have a look at the collection. Uh, we dedicate this year to the Adibzi Portuguese collection with eternal calendar as the highlight of this collection. Uh, this is what we have in the center here. And the eternal calendar really takes the IWC competence in calendar watches to a new level. This fantastic piece, have a look. This is featuring a special calendar function that is programmed as a secular calendar. It's programmed until the year 3999. Really impressive. I love this dial. Could you explain more about this? It's so different. Yes, we not only have a special calendar function, but we also have a special moon phase integrated, which gives an incredible moon phase accuracy, which is a mathematically uh, correctness of only one day deviation in 45 million years. This is a world record. The current world record is at two million years, so we really set ourselves apart from that. But next to this high complication movement, we also gave a stunning design to this piece. It's a platinum watch with a relatively thin case ring and two domed glasses in front and back. So the domed sapphire glass on the top is covering a domed dial that is also made from glass with a very complicated treatment giving incredible richness and depth to the piece and to honor also the high complications inside. And Christian, uh, what's the difference between this uh, eternal calendar when we compare with the regular perpetual calendar? That's a very good question. I think the calendar functionality in an IWC perpetual calendar is programmed until the year 2100. Then there is an irregularity in the calendar. So the new mechanism really calculates these irregularities and is programmed until the year 3999 while our current moon phase has an accuracy of 577.5 uh, days uh, the new one years sorry um, uh, the new one has the 45 million years uh, guys, amazing I you, this is all kind of amazing can we see um, can you show the cameras nice so the viewers at home can see it yes of Lovely. course well, so if you're holding it yeah, yeah. stay where you are okay. just so we can camera Please continue, Christian. From the highlight of this collection, we developed a full collection around with four new colors we are presenting, uh, which is the silver moon, the horizon blue, the dune, and the obsidian black. So these are new colors we are bringing to the Portuguese collection together with a revised case construction and a couple of new design cues we established on the dials. We have created sub-collections in particular colors that really strengthen the design uh, codes of the Portuguese are being a very pure and very legible instrument watch originally. What you hold in your hands here is a Portuguese hand-wound tourbillon day and night. It's a hand-wound piece with a, a flying minute tourbillon at the six o'clock position. And we have a specially uh, designed uh, day and night indication at nine o'clock showing a little globe that revolves once in 24 hours, uh, having a dark a black side and a golden side indicating day and night. And this is the first time that IWC produced uh, this Port Portuguese Trubion day and night, correctly? Absolutely. If you turn it around, you will see a beautifully finished movement. And one of the highlights is that this day and night indication is also visible from the back. The back is stunning too, amazing. In the Obsidian Black, we also present a perpetual calendar, an automatic 42, automatic 40, and the chronograph. Coming from the Obsidian to the new color Dune we are presenting, we are presenting an automatic 42, 
and uh, chronograph in this new color code. What's the inspiration behind uh, this dial, this color? We wanted, with these four new colors, they're inspired really by the cycle of the day, really going from morning light, the warm afternoon light, which inspired dune and to the night uh, to, to show the moon. Um, but especially each of these colors, and like the dune as well, should or was, was meant to, to present a new look to the Portuguese, but at the same time be a very timeless and very bearable color. And I think the dune color is a very good example for that. It's completely new to the collection. It brings a, a novelty aspect at the point of sale at the, on the display, but it's a color that is really timelessly elegant at, at the I same time. So, I wear everyone. <laughs> yes, so beautiful. And now let's move to another side. We're looking at the horizon blue. That's probably one of the most stunning new colors we are presenting. Uh, color where we have four references, uh, all in white gold cases, combined with calf leather straps that are hand finished by the Italian shoe brand Santoni. So they have a um, handcrafted patina finish on it. And all these dials are made in a very elaborate lacquering process. Each of these dials involves 60 different steps to, to make the incredible refinement level. Um, and it's just 15 layers of lacquer that gives the richness and, and the fine detail to the, to the dials. The one you're holding in your hands is a perpetual calendar piece. It, this is a little bit heavy. It's, which material is this? It's a white gold. White gold, ah, okay. It plays very nicely yes. also with, with the horizon blue of the dial. This is it's my a favorite very box. <laughs> fresh, almost a summer color yes. uh, within the collection. I, I'm really impressed with the, this new color because now with the watch on my hands, I'm even more impressed because it's different. It's possible to see all the details and the combination with this strap with the dial and it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thanks. Let's look at the silver moon, which is the fourth color. Uh, so the silver dials, very, very iconic, is the perpetual calendar with the silver dials. But we're also presenting the silver color on the automatic uh, 42, like this one, for example. This is the new size for the Portuguese? Yes, it is not a, not a new size. 42 millimeters existed before, but we have completely reworked the case. So we'll, you'll find now a kind of box glass on front and on the back giving the entire watch a very slim appeal on the wrist and an overall very airy look, which really goes very nicely yeah. with the pure design of the dial graphics. And I saw a few difference here in the strap. It's more flat compared with the other that are curved correctly? That's correct, because with the uh, Automatic 42, we are introducing a new metal uh, link bracelet and the rubber strap. So we give more choice to our customers to change to different strap options. And this goes also very well also with the reworked case, uh, giving, a, giving a five bar water resistance. So to make it a very versatile uh, all day watch you can use for different purposes. Nice, and I love this combination with the rubber in blue as well. Beautiful. Thank you, Christian, for this amazing explanation about the new collection. I'm so excited to continue here during the booth. We can go thank and... Thank you very much. Thanks, Debbie. Thank you, thank you. Hey, you right? Yes, so good. Like Coffee? I think you yes. deserved it. There thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Wow. Thank you. I really hope you enjoyed that all-new Portuguese collection. It makes us very proud. You know, for this us, this is the biggest day of the year. When our engineers, watchmakers, designers, marketing people, and everybody working on a collection like this, there's no better feeling than seeing the reactions, being able to finally present it to the public, and getting all your reactions and feedback. On that note, of course, we're going to take a couple of your questions in just a minute. But I just want to say, you know, RBC Portuguese for us, it's not only the heart of what we do. It is really a watch that you just have to see in person. It's now so elegant and so refined and it's just something that whatever occasion you are going to, whatever your day is going to bring, you're never dressed wrongly if you have an IWC Portuguese. Like you've got to see this in the flesh. Most of the watches are available as of now in our boutiques and on IWC.com uh, worldwide. 
head over to IWC.com, see all the details, inquire with your local boutique or retailer to find out much, much more. But let's get and jump right into some of the questions from our audience. Chris, it's been an amazing experience so far. Before we go to our audience across all the platforms, I just had a quick question for you. Um, how do you want visitors to feel when they leave the IWC booth? Well, I think that we can hope to give people who come to Geneva here an experience of what it's like to see the IWC side of watchmaking. You know, it's not where you walk into a hundreds of year old manufacturing facility and you have, you know, wooden benches. It really meets, craftsmanship meets modernism. That's really our spirit. Our founder was an American. He was a watchmaker and engineer, Florentine Arista Jones, and he always had this credo of combining the best of craftsmanship with the best of technology. And that really is what we're standing for today as IWC Schaffhausen. Okay, and we've got one from Instagram, Chris. This is Sophia. Uh, what Hi, is Sophia. Yeah. Shout out, Sophia. <laughs> Big up, Sophia. Um, what is the difference between uh, eternal and the perpetual calendar? Yeah, great question, Sophia. So a perpetual calendar in watchmaking definition is a calendar that inserts a leap year regularly every four years. And that's basically following the Julian calendar. But the Julian calendar has been replaced by our Gregorian calendar back in the 1580s. And an eternal calendar is a calendar that accounts for these irregularities in leap years that the Gregorian calendar introduced to just get a bit closer to the actual difference between the solar year we observe and our units of timekeeping. And it's because it's never quite synchronized, you occasionally have to add a leap year in a different way than before. That's why we're doing this. Another question? Yeah, great. And we've got one from um, AK21AM. Um, is it platinum or white gold? Uh, the eternal calendar is platinum, great question. And then all of the models in horizon blue are white gold, but also the perpetual calendar in the dune color is in a white gold case. Next okay. Last question, which is your favorite corner of the exhibition pavilion and why? The favorite, sorry, say again. What is your favorite corner of the exhibition? Right, like, I, I love the Eternal Studio because the Perpetual Studio is where our watchmakers are at home, where that craftsmanship really goes into our watches. And to see our engineers, our watchmakers at work and the passion they put into these products makes me extremely proud and very happy on a daily basis. Great, this is all amazing stuff, Chris. We would love to hear from you all day, but I know you're very busy and you've got lots of things today. So if it's okay for you, uh, I think it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, and of course, we're going to come back to lots of your questions in the comment section. I'll try myself to get onto as many of those as possible during the course of the day. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of this. And Watches and Wonders this year, incidentally, is open to the public on the Saturday, the Sunday, and the Monday next week. So if you are in the area and if you can plan it in, do come here. We'd love to host you here at IWC Paris Portuguesa, a tribute to eternity. Thanks a lot for everyone for watching. Thank you for your time. See you all very soon.